So for the last few days, uh, this guy has been joining me on the wall for my Let's Plays. Look at that gorgeous, beautiful spider. And he's just been kind of building his web, but mostly just hanging out on that spot in the wall there. And it's been kind of nice. My first fan. Good friends, welcome back to the Commissar Show. Today we're going to be playing a game that was first introduced to me by a very good and close friend of mine, Brendan Baker. Brendan, this video is for you. Today we are going to play a game called Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire. It is the expansion pack to Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. A very fascinating and in-depth science fiction game. We're going to pick the difficulty level of Thinker, because that's what we are. We're thinkers here. You and I. We're going to do this. We're going to customize the rules. Uh, look first. Oh, okay. All this is the same as before. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's do some customization of the factions. This is, you know, you're going to play a game for a long time. You might as well have lots of fun with uh, being completely and totally insensitive to other people's beliefs and cultures. So, um, this is the religious lady. You can tell from her face over there in the uh, in the left-hand side that she's a inbred son of a bitch. Daughter of a whore, however you want to go with it. Here, let's make her male. Male. And her name will be Ignoramus. Bill. Formal. Her faction, what should it be called? Well, mm, we're the most insensitive of believers. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, what are they called? Westboro Baptist Church. Baptists. Baptist. Title, um... <laughs> the title, Big Bill. Description, homophobic. All right, we're doing it here. You can see there's already a couple of factions that were listed in here from my last playthrough. Uh, so I actually had the aliens in here as well. Let's call it Ak. 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 Like the Martians from Mars Attacks. This bitch is. Yeah, okay. Their voices are very annoying and quite loud. Formal. What are these people called? Alien scum. Since they have their own name to themselves, and this is their name to us, we're going to call them Scum. Scum. Title. Oops. Title. Uh, lobster. Like. neighboring systems must never be repeated. Therefore. Crab Lord. If it means the end of our evolution as a species, so be it. Lobster, like, and gooey. Finally, they're female, whatever, we'll move along with that. University of Planet, Brandon, these are your homos here. Regresses so, we're gonna smaller name them smaller after you. Name Brandon Baker. Electrons. Oh, yeah. And behind electrons. University of Planet, University, University, Each University. Brilliant. Reveals new secrets, Brilliant. But also and new awesome. Academician Proker Zaharov. Morgan Industries. Human behavior is economic. What does that look like behavior. to you? The particulars may vary, looks like but competition for limited resources Denzel remains a constant. Need Washington. as well as Because you know he's not in enough movies stars. nowadays. We'll give him a little bit of a chance right here. We'll put him in our YouTube movie. To Formal. Um, it's almost something really posts. swaggy. CEO Vape Nation. Morgan, yeah, Vape Nation. Vape Nation title Gas Cloud Description Gaseous Now 
Uh, I think that his title should be Swag Lord. Denzel Washington of Vape Nation. As the Americans learn oh, so painfully in Earth's yeah, final Brennan, century, you and I, we know who this is. Information we barely is have to change his name here. We'll just add a little tyranny. suffix. Osama the bin. People whose leaders there you go. Last lose their grip and on uh, we'll just flow. put a soon set of quotes next to peacekeeping. But the free nation gradually constricting its grip on public discourse. Peacekeepers. Peacekeeper. Home. Peacekeeper. Beware of he. His title would be uh, information or terror leader description. Uh, <laughs> amazing pilot. Uh, this is one of the uh, expansion pack factions here, Data Angels. Along with the aliens, of course. <gasps> What's uh, who does that look like to you? The data or the jazz. Um, sure, Beyonce, sure. the be data angels. Over. No, that but would be, I believe, destinies. The jazz is in how you do it. Chill. What you do it to. Formal destinies and child. Getting caught without getting caught. Oh, destinies children. That makes a little bit more the sense. The data is ones and zeros. Children. Life is the jazz. Adjective. Destinies. Chill. Ren. Title uh, Queen B B Stylish. Yeah, we'll keep stylish on there. Stylish and sonorous. Sonorous. There we go. I can spell. Don't worry. See right there. Spelling. Call correct spelling. And this is the people who I I usually like to play as the pirates. And full of wealth. I just think they're awesome. And the nations of they start off trade across the, it without the only a faction who starts off with their city and well, the water. Doesn't care about that, and they have a so couple of bonuses as well that makes it uh, more. We can give the sea a little hand in teaching the land lovers More on a par with the uh, alien crossfire faction, because Lord's unfortunately, Spanish. although this game is very um, forward-thinking in its science fiction aspects, in terms of a uh, balance between the factions, it's really kind of shit. So uh, we're playing the navigators today. Don't judge me. I like the navigators. Fuck you. See, look, look at my face there. I look like Brad Pitt. That's true to life. Uh, noun, Nautilus Navigators. My title would be Commissar, obviously. Like, why wouldn't it be? Tag a description. Heroic? Yeah, we'll go with Heroic. I'm thinking I'm a hero. Heroic and Kristoff. <laughs> Okay, no. Okay, alright, alright, forget that shit. Heroic, okay, good. So we got Westboro Baptist Church, Alien Scum, Brandon's Guys, Vape Nation, Peacekeeping Forces, Destiny's Children, and now Nautilus Navigators. Alright, here we go. The sea. Yeah, vast. Yep, yep, yep. Mysterious. Kristoff, a new era of struggle and opportunity awaits you. The UN Starship Unity has arrived in the Alpha Centauri system after a 40-year voyage. All contact with Earth has been lost. After Captain Garland's assassination by an unknown assailant, the crew mutinied and split into factions. In the ensuing conflict, some seized control of the Unity's control pods. You now shape the destiny of your Nautilus faction, which has just made Planetfall! Na -na 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 -na. And, um... We'll go there. Oh, good, okay. Well, um... We will just for make a base here, and we're going to call our base... Helmus. Go. <laughs> Big Bill. Ig Big Bill, ignoramus Bill of the Baptist, found the first ma base on Mac. Yeah, okay. Alright. Um, I know what to do, but for now, I'm just going to set it to build me. Command center. No, let's go for a boat. Okay, I got, I, got, I got another colony pod here. So this game is pretty cool. So the plot of it, um, you wouldn't have gotten it from the r original intro because uh, Alien Crossfire changes the intro to this game. Uh, is that, uh, oh, let's go over here to this, to the mouth of this river, moving it to here. And this one will push slash and make him explore automatically. He will hold. Okay, that's good. We, we don't want to keep building a scout patrol, though. That's fucking dumb. Let's build a gun foil. Oops, didn't work. 
So the plot of this game, before I get distracted, is that basically it is the worst case scenario. Oh, this is a really good spot to build my town. Port Svengard. How about Port Svensus? Great. Okay, we'll build that first and then we'll queue in a gunfoil after that. Actually, we'll queue in a sea colony pod. Actually, no, we won't. Uh, delete. Alright. Hold. After days of mysterious activity in the Alpha Centauri system, a strange craft seems to have fallen out of planetary orbit. Spectral readings indicate that the hull is not of Earth origin. Oh, okay. I guess that's the aliens. Interlude from Book of Planet. Oh, that's a really cool thing about this game. So occasionally, as you go through certain milestones of this, uh, of research and whatever, um, it'll give you these uh, interludes from Book of Planet, which is its own little kind of sci-fi novel that's inside the game. So I'm going to read you this little excerpt that it's uh, decided to show me. It has been a rough six years on planet, eking out an existence on the strange surface of this alien world. Helmus has established itself as your command center, and you are gradually reaching out to the other faction leaders, trying to restore balance to the remnants of a tattered humanity. I haven't done anything like that. I don't know why it's saying I did. On this day, as you take a routine inspection tour of your base defenses, your rebreather begins to rattle in your mouth. Clouds suddenly boil up from the horizon as two bright lights flash into the sky high above you and then expand out in waves of purple fire. Commissar! Your lieutenant chokes out, grabbing your shoulder. You forgive the impropriety. She seems ready to push you to the ground, but you tense against her, trying to see through the chaos tearing the sky apart. Besides, there is nowhere to hide. The first wave of purple fire washes across the sky and buffets you with a strange, cold wind. Then the second one chills you deep to the bones. You close your eyes, feeling as if your body has been shaken at its core. Finally, a calm descends. Your lieutenant is staring at their hands, which still tremble. You quickly pull, up, pull out a pair of binox. Okay, this sci-fi binoculars. Whatever. You quickly pull out a pair of binox and look through them, searching the sky. What are you looking for, she asks. That, you finally say and hand the binox to her, but as you look, she is already staring at the sky where two streaks of light approach the new world. The streaks dance and twist around each other as they grow larger in the sky. New rivals, you say, and it appears they don't like each other. Okay, we're gonna research terraforming. Ooh. Okay, so, uh, before I get distracted again, so the plot of the story is that, uh, humans have basically farmed and destroyed Earth to a point in which it is no longer a habitable planet, so they have, in a last-ditch effort, put everything into uh, the USS Unity, which is a spaceship, and sent it to the Alpha Centauri system, which uh, you're given our current uh, astronomic, uh, astronomic knowledge is the nearest, uh, is the system which um, is home to the nearest habitable planet to Earth. It's something like a jillion million miles away, so I don't really know uh, how far it is, but uh, that's what this is based on. So we're eking out a new life on this planet in the Alpha Centauri system. And I can build some new units. It's formers and sea formers, which is great. I, I apparently researched that instantly. So next thing we should research is, let's go with, um, let's go with, information networks. Nautilus scientists, university made first breakthrough. Yeah, university always makes the first breakthrough. Fucking assholes. Alright, um, thanks for joining me for the uh, introduction of this series. Um, I'd like to play a few more episodes. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this game. If we do, um, I'll probably uh, do the uh, military ending. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I think this game actually is... Uh, it was a quicker finish than Quake, at least, because um, there's a couple of different ways, and I enabled all of them, like science ending, and uh, transcendence ending, and military ending, and economy ending, all that stuff like that. So, uh, we'll see how it goes, and um, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye something to tell me please come up and tell it to me please come up and tell me baby blue